Hey everybody, it's time to do a February flip through. I've been having a lot of fun on some uh, specifically Hobonichi planner groups on Facebook and seeing what everybody has done in theirs. It's inspiring. It's really cool to see all the different ways people use it. And that's why I started sharing mine on my Share by Dabbles page. I'm stoked that so many people seem to enjoy it. And so uh, I'm just going to keep doing it because why not? It's fun and it hasn't seemed to affect how I choose to use my planner. That was my biggest concern that as soon as people were interested in seeing it, I was worried that I was going to be doing it differently. And um, I kind of really want to continue to be as authentic with my stuff as possible. And and uh, I think the more authentic I am with it, the more real it is. And I feel like the more real people see that, the more real you can be in it too. And not be so like uh, afraid to make mistakes or anything. Next month in March, I have one big mistake. I'll show it at the end of the video anyway, just to show because uh, I think it was a <laughs> it was it was a really good example of what I just said. So anyway, let's get started. This is uh, it's nothing different on the outside from last month, and I still use my monthly. Oops, we're in February now, just to keep my regular. My regular appointments and what I have going on in check and in line. I have so many calendars for that. I use my phone. I use this small A6 that I keep in my purse for my monthly appointments. I have a at a glance section in this where I'll write everything underneath the month. And this is really like my go-to as well as my phone. So I, I definitely keep one of those handy. One of them really should just become the primo primary. <laughs> so let's start February. This is my first weekly spread. This here is the beginning of February. These stickers are the really nice, thin, thin plastic ones from, um, I believe I got these ones from Shine. This one was from a pack on Etsy. And they're so thin, these, these, these ones especially from Shine, they bend right with the page. If anybody's interested, um, most of the writing that I do on this, when you look closely, it really is just a lot of it's my regular handwriting, and then I embellish my regular handwriting. Sometimes it's with different colors. Sometimes it's with highlighters. Sometimes it's just um, outlining a letter and, and coloring it in. I've been wondering if people would be interested in a kind of lazy girl guide to lettering. If you'd like to um, give it a give it a give it a go and see if you guys would be interested in something like that. And it wouldn't just be about the lettering. It would also be about, if anybody likes this kind of busy look, how to dress something up in a real simple, easy way. It's not going to be perfect. There is no lettering guides. Honestly, I'm just too impatient for that. So perhaps the best would be the impatient girl's guide to lettering, <laughs> where you just want it to like kind of look cool and, and, and better, bigger, colorful, whatever, but not be a lot of work. That's that's basically how I roll in my things here. So um, at the end of the day, my, my partner and I always watch a show or my son as well, and I will note what show we watched. This is my two, what I have done that day. So I will just uh, put in the things that I did throughout the day. Sometimes what I had for lunch, this was right at the end of my COVID and I was having major migraines. It was, it was pretty rotten. So that's the first week. Here's the second week of February. I really particularly like my guitar Google, uh, Google Doodle, <laughs> my guitar Doodle. I wonder if I saw Google on here somewhere and that's what made me say it. I do crap like that all the time. Um, I like doing this with the coffee thing. I just use a marker and block letter coffee and then just, you know, write coffee across it. Simple stuff. I think it's kind of cool. I add stickers ahead of time. I can show you, for instance, what the current week, the first week of March looks like, where I just place stickers and then work around them. And then I'll go back in with little, little stickers if I have any. Um, for instance, this is a little tiny sticker here. And um, highlighters, I'll just put a highlighter over the words, maybe little doodles like a fork, the guitar, little pint glasses, little TV, uh, musical note. I can't tell you what musical note that is or what it stands for because I'm even though I play guitar and I'm in a band, I am terrible about knowing actual music stuff. I'm going to mug a little salad bowl. Easy stuff. I was trying this week to put maybe one or two things I just couldn't forget to do that day. Um, I liked that plan. <laughs> 
And I don't know if I stuck to it. I, I honestly can't even remember that. So we'll find out when I flip the page. So next page, this one got a little more colorful. I think I started using my Tombow markers in here to try to note some things that I was doing. Tuesdays and Wednesdays were getting rough for me because I had to start going into the office in 2024. I've been working from home for the last almost four years. Love these stickers. This was from a yoga pack on Amazon. These are from Shine. This is from a pack I got at CVS. This is um, a book pack that I got from Shine. Uh, this is from a discounted pack. This, the Payday sticker, uh, this little alarm clock here, the diamonds, little star. These were from a pack I got at Michael's on sale for $5. That's a craft store in the U.S. for anybody out there not in the U.S., my only issue with the Tombow markers is that they are water soluble and so if anything gets wet, it's all just gonna go and and disappear on me. But it's a, it's a risk I'm gonna take. We're just gonna be risky. Um, my sister led a, a meditation for us. She's training to do that and uh, it was really nice when we, I went to go see my mom and my sibling in from here from Maine. Lots of music. I like, I like how colorful and fun this one is. Second to last week, Again, I did a lot of big ones because sometimes I'm just so busy, I just write in fast and big. And you know what? It works. It's totally fine. Like when you're doing your book, this is yours. So just write it in there, you know, another big book sticker from a from a collection that I got in on Shine of for book readers. Uh, the Dinner Date, Laugh Loudly, Super Amazing, Fantastically Awesome. Not sure that's how you spell fantastically, but whatever. Dream Big, Remember to Be Awesome. Uh, be present in little things. These are all from that that sticker pack. Very important. Chillax. All of those. Hey, heart. All from that sticker pack I got for $5 from um, Michael's in the clearance section. Peace sign. The heart. They look like they could be doodles. They're totally not. Those are stickers. Tacos. Separate individual letters. I just went over it again with a um, with a marker. More tingly feet. That's a hot mess right there. Yoga, yoga pack stickers. Stickers are my friend now. I can't believe how many, how much I like having stickers. So uh, there you go. And now this is actually, oh, see, you get to see it where I messed up. So I wanted to take notes on things to do for a YouTube channel, you know, and I thought that I was flipping to this extra month that we have back here. We have an extra January, February, March for next year. And I thought that I was writing in these columns when suddenly I was like, oh my God, like I was writing in my first two days and my weeks are fairly precious to me. So I rolled with it. Um, I just, you know, filled up my column here. I wasn't going to use it like, like I normally would. And one of the stickers that seems to actually work with this page, it says, So you see, imagination needs moodling, long, inefficient, happy idling, dawdling, and puttering. And I feel like that just was saying, just, just use it, go with the flow. So here's my last week. I decided to use the same kind of format. Obviously, there's a lot less space, very narrow. And just filled it in like I would any other day. But it was very very narrow and sometimes I was like oh I don't know if I can actually fit everything in here that I wanted to do or that I did do that day um, but it worked out so I was pretty pleased that that happened um, and I think it's kind of fun to go through and then find that the pages are actually a lot different and uh, this was just last night this last day Sunday was just last night because um, we're already in March March 3rd Unbelievable, isn't it? It goes so fast. It's just insane. So let's head on over to the dailies. Ta-da! Um, again, I use this um, page of the month to just kind of doodle, maybe mention some big things that happened that week um, or that month, excuse me. So I have like a month of tingly feet, but then I got my B-complex and benfotiamine or thiamine um, and nutritional yeast and it totally has helped. Uh, things I want to get done this month, knit, read, do some art, write, and smile. Check, 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 check. Always make sure that they're doable when you make a to-do list. That is my motto. Happy Love Day. I forgot, like, the month felt long, but it went so fast. We had Valentine's Day. Did try to do a little self-portrait there. Um, we had two of our friends over for Valentine's Day and made salmon. It was awesome. 
got to see some family. We played a gig for Gettysburg Rocks and Gettysburg Rocks is awesome. It's they raise money for kids with cancer and their families so that they can pay for their medical bills. Sometimes parents have to take off work or leave work entirely to be with their kiddos. And the Four Diamond organization helps them, helps provide that money largely through donations like ours. Gettysburg Rocks happens twice a year in Pennsylvania and we participate as often as possible both times each year. Playing for free, almost the whole thing is run by volunteers and it's pretty cool. I did get to write a new song this month. I was excited about that. And um, this is just like stuff I wanna do. I'll try to keep it optimistic and easy. I somehow skipped these pages, so I thought I would just throw it in here real quick. So this is, hopefully the editing works well. I'm holding the camera now. Some doodling on February 2nd and a little gouache thing I attempted. <laughs> I think that's the only page that skipped. I didn't realize that I had done it, but just in case you wanted to see, there it is. Uh, I did some writing prompts. This doodle goes along with this particular writing prompt. I've been trying to use AI and ChatGPT to get writing prompts. I also was using squibbler.io, or I'll just put in random first line generators in Google and um, pick one and i uh, been trying to write them. Some of these, like this only took about eight minutes to fill this page. This took about seven and a half. Bigger writing. I didn't stick to just each four millimeter line. And a little doodle for that one with a sticker. This, <laughs> listen, I'm just, I'm just doing my best here. This was based off of a picture. These were Tombow markers. And for whatever reason, there's no black marker. And it didn't occur to me to just use another black marker I have. So it looks kind of silly, but I am not an artist by any means, but I do do art, you know, if that makes sense. Discovered that there's this uh, thing people do called map crunch. So if you go to map crunch in Google, um, it will randomly find for you an image, like a street view of a particular place. Like how in the world would I have found an image from Wales, you know, and then I tried to paint it. And I'm not, I'm again, not an artist, but I really enjoy doing art. So I'm just going to keep doing it. And I just go back, like I did these probably two days ago where I just go back and I just want to fill up the page more. Like I'm just not done messing around with this paper. And I like that I can go back and embellish even further. So when I do an end of year flip through, it'll be interesting to see how much changes because I can already see myself doodling around the edges here, just filling up every little itty bitty bit of space. I've been working on self-portraits. Again, draw yourself, not your friends, because you will be the only one offended if it does not come out right. All my friends keep telling me your cheeks are not like that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I was happy I actually got glasses on this side properly. Like I think if I do this, it actually looks like me. So that's fun. Got some quote stickers from Timu. Saw that somebody was ordering stickers from Timu and I was like, I'm going to give that a try. So um, I've tried to make them appropriate to what's on the page. Attempted to paint my mug. This was kind of a pivotal thing in my artsing stuff because I tried to do the mug and then I was like, I have all this paint out here that's just going to dry up. So I'm just going to randomly draw stuff. And I think it, it's fun when you when I just was like, I don't really care to make it look like anything in particular. I just want it to be fun. And I thought that this this fit that bill. It worked out. I enjoy doing it. Kind of looks like mushrooms. Any mushroom coffee companies out there want to use this image, contact me. <laughs> we get some mycelium, maybe some moons. I don't know. Fun. I encourage everybody to just mess around. This is gouache. I got a really cheap set. It's not even the really cheap set that people use when they do gouache tutorials and they say, I'm going to try this cheap set. It's cheaper than that set. It's from, again, Michael's and it's the artist's loft. It's their own brand of paints. So it's not even the Hemi gouache. This is the artist's loft gouache. So, so I am proud to say that when I move to the more expensive gouache, it's going to be the Hemi gouache. Still cheap, but more expensive than what I was using. This is how you can always make sure you're moving up. <laughs> Try to do a little beach scene. I thought this was a nice authentic touch. <laughs> and then again, I tried to do portraits and teeth are hard. Um, I, I can understand why people cover their things early up. I'm going to try very hard not to do that. This is the same 
picture as the one I just showed you before, I think that that came out even better. Um, if I write things down, I understand it better. So when I did this, I wrote down all the things that weren't quite right. And then somehow my brain was able to translate it better when I did a second attempt. It's, it's just how my brain works, I guess. It reminds me of a Samuel Beckett quote that said, um, if at first you don't succeed, fail again, fail better. I think that's awesome. I use that in my writing a lot. Trying some sketches. This was for the domestic class that I'm taking, which I haven't done in a couple weeks. In fact, this is probably the last time. These two dudes are from my guitar player magazines. Um, it's a good thing I use that magazine for something because I can't play the, the stuff they put in the back of it. This is supposed to be Dickie Betts from a photo in there and Kenny Wayne Shepherd. This is the lady on the cover of watercolor pencils I've had for ages. She looks more like this, but I wanted to try to make it my own here. I like that. This is me. And these were sketches from the Domestica course. I thought that was fun. Here's a writing prompt. This one took about six minutes. Two more writing prompts. Um, it was pretty fun. I actually was doing writing in bed and I hadn't done that in ages. Some beautiful washi tape that I got from Timu. I just love, I love blue and white porcelain type art there and some plant um, stickers also from Timu. The writing prompts is probably one of my favorite things to do in this book. I love, I just love how the paper feels. Another writing prompt. Um, this one is if I were invisible, I would. I did not put the time in these, um, but again, I did this in bed. This is something I did with the Tombow markers. I don't have a lot of colors, um, and technically you can blend them and everything, but again, I'm an impatient artist, so I just, I ain't got time for that. So I just mess around and um, try to make it look as accurate as possible. I don't know what it is, but something about playing with colors and, and paints, even if I don't know exactly what I'm doing, it is so soothing and relaxing, and I find myself just really wanting to make time for it. I enjoy it. Another writing prompt. It isn't difficult to do a handstand if you just stand on your hands. I like this one. I like how the story came out. Again, thinking about typing them all up and seeing what can come out of them. This is gouache. Um, man, the, the sketchbook tours I see, mostly women doing gouache paintings. I'm stunned. I mean, I try to make things look like their own leaves and it's. I'm so impatient. This ended up being just like a big cliff. And it's of course, it's not the right paper. I think they would all say pick good paper first. I think even paper is more important than the type of gouache you're using. Um, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm amazed with the number of artists out there. And I feel like they all should be famous in making gobs of money for contributing their art to the world. <laughs> Uh, this I like, it was just, I was splotching it and then trying to see what it could be and decided it could be a woman with a long braid. And then I was trying to figure out how to make her face look like a face, but now her face is like way too small for the rest. <laughs> this is, oh dear. <laughs> just doing our best. We're just out here playing, right guys? Yeah, just out here playing. Um, and here is another prompt. It was just for one night. Another sticker from um, one of my Shine. No, no, this is from a PET book from Etsy. Pretty fun. This is also from that. This was fun. This is watercolor. I did just like splotching stuff around. And I think this was supposed to be a tree. But then I was like, I'm going to be a little different and gave him eyes and an eyebrows and thought this was a nice long nose. So now he's a mountain man. Body is definitely weird. But since... I have not met any real mountain men in real life who can say if they're out of proportion. I think that's exactly what they look like, the mythical mountain men creatures. So I named this piece a mountain dude by a tree overlooking a lake and some mountains. <laughs> Lo the mountain man and his meditation among friends. Another writing prompt, we are reluctant to adopt such severe measures. This was, this was really fun. This was going in a dark direction, but uh, my writing typically does. It's pretty fun. This was great. This was just a day where I had to fill up two pages. I would think I was behind and I thought it was a great opportunity to just do two at once with some paints, just 
random slash and dashes, and then try to see what I could find in it. So this was just splotching stuff, and then I added marker, and then I went in and embellished upon that when I could see that it was becoming something rando, just shapes and stuff. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a sheep with a crown uh, stuck in my craw. I think I was in a bad mood. <laughs> Hearts come up a lot. Uh, this is like a funny figure face. I, I make a lot of figures like that, just in doodles. Cool cat sticker from Timu. Got a bunch, a big pack of a bunch of fun, like, I don't know, is that cubist art? Not quite sure. Writing prompt, the coffee machine hummed to life. That one was okay. These are adorable. These are from Timu. I give um, gave a bunch to a friend of mine as well. Here's another. She could tell his... Oh, she could feel his eyes on her, but she refused to look up, afraid of what she might see in them. This I used at work. We have access to Copilot, um, the chat GPT slash AI, and I asked it for a writing prompt. And this was interesting because I asked it for a writing prompt, and then it said, let me know what you write. I'd love to see it. So I actually did type it in, so I was curious to see what it would say, and it actually gave it critique. Um, Nothing negative, nothing about how it could be improved, but more like, here are things that I thought were good. It was like, I can really feel the tension between the two characters. It uses such strong words like guillotine, curdled, and it, it picked out a phrase. And then it said, I wonder what happened next. Are they going to reconcile? Are they going to follow through with their decisions, etc.? I could see how writers could really use that to bring their plots forward when writing and and. Pretty cool. I might um, I might try it again and see what happens. We're at the end of the month here. Um, this one was just song lyrics I just wrote in a prose form. I actually really like this. I might do something with that. And this is based on one of the magnets I have. Magnet bookmarks. I think is, no, that's not it. It's very similar to, can you see that? To that, but it must be... I must have lost it along the way. These don't stay very well. No, nothing stays very well in this book, I find. Um, but I don't like tabs. So in this my my last day. Technically, that's February 29th. And then I have prepped um, the March page with a bunch of fun stickers and remembering February. So let me go back and just show you for the weeklies how I did get the next week set up in case you're curious or want to try something similar. So this was the last week of February. This is this week that I've gotten so far. It is Monday, so we're, we're right on target here. But I just picked some random stickers to put around and just in case, leave the rest empty. And then I'll add as I go through um, what's going to come up. And as soon as I'm done with this, I might put a little note. I took a walk, so I'll probably write walk right there. And then I will put that I filmed this. And um, then uh, I'm going to take a shower and enjoy the rest of my day and have some band practice tonight. I also am curious if anybody's interested in seeing me fill this out, perhaps. I don't know. Some people like that stuff, and we can see if that'll work. Um, loving this. <laughs> loving this. So uh, in the back side, I did add um, all the movies that we still want to see movies that we had watched that are on this this is the piece of paper i was talking about last time that we kept on our kitchen counter so i i guess this is called a tip-in so i added that here been terrible with my yoga and meditation just terrible i had um this is the beginning of march i did sun salutations two days here i did some exercise i will write in that i walked today meditation with my sister nothing in between and it's a little uh it's a little disheartening, so we'll see if I come up with another way to fill that in, although I would still really love to stick with the yoga and meditation because it really did help my body with the fibromyalgia and stuff. Um, the way that I budget um, might be interesting to people. Budget's kind of the wrong word. I list all the bills when they're due, aligned with my paychecks, and how much they're going to be, so I always know what I'm going to pay. And then I will check it off when I've paid it and cross it out when it comes out of my account. And I've been doing that for about five years. Keeps me very on track with my bills. I'm never surprised. Makes me happy. I think the last thing in here is just my monthly um, index. And still the same. We got to see Rhett Miller. Love Rhett Miller. 
Um, we try to go to see a concert once a month. We're still trying to find one for April, although I have ideas and sent them out. And um, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, John Oliver says hello and hopes you're doing well. I do too. I hope everybody has a great day. Please leave me any comments. Please subscribe. Please like. Um, it's, it's actually pretty exciting and I get a thrill whenever people comment. I appreciate all the comments people left last time. I was just, I was super stoked. It was like, oh yeah, I get to talk to people. <laughs> and uh, if there's anything that I have said you want to know more about, let me know. Um, that's it. Peace out, homeschoolers. Have a great day.